Good morning, everyone. Today's reading is taken from Genesis chapter 37. And this chapter tells us a lot about human nature and relationship. First, in verse 2, we are told Joseph, a 17-year-old teenager, brought a bad report of his half-brothers to his father. In other words, he was telling on them. Then verse 3 tells us, Joseph was Jacob's, now uh, Jacob's name is changed to Israel. Joseph was Israel's favorite son, and he gave him an opulent gift, a multicolored coat. It's not just an expensive apparel, but luxurious apparel, like Versace or, or Louis Vuitton in today's term. The favorite son told tales on them, and he got to wear Louis Vuitton. Can you imagine nomadic shepherds wearing Louis Vuitton in the field? It's no wonder the brothers didn't like Joseph at all. And verse 4 tells us that they hated him and said unkind things to him. Then from verses 5 to 11, we read that Joseph, he had a weird dream. And without constraint, he told the whole family that all of them, including their father, will bow down to him. Then later in verse 14, Israel sent Joseph to check on the brothers who were tending ships in a faraway land. In other words, to bring report of them to him. Or in other words, to spy on them. The brothers really hated Joseph, which resulted in them conspiring to kill him. Well, listen carefully, to kill him. That's how much they hated him. They wanted to kill him, not beat him up. Kill him. And it all started because of a bad, but truthful report. Then everything snowballed and went downhill from there. There are a few things we can know about Israel and his family from this passage. We know Israel, he was a person who treasured and wanted to know the truth. He wanted to know the conduct of his sons. And he got to learn the truth from Joseph. But we don't know what he did with the truth. But I think it's highly possible that he disciplined the brothers if things were not right. If not, the brothers wouldn't have hated Joseph so much. We also don't know if he had attempted to reconcile relationship after Joseph reported to him. But we can safely say that Joseph didn't reconcile relationship because we know that he continued to be a big mouth, a person who told truth without consideration or constraint. In fact, he became bolder in telling truth for the sake of telling the truth. And we also know the brothers who definitely did not bother to make peace with him. So the question for us today is, what is the purpose of knowing the truth? Is it to make things right? Yes, definitely. But do we make things right at all costs, like at the expense of relationship? Well, I think the purpose of knowing truth is to make things right. No doubt about that. But do note, things are not made right if relationships are not restored or reconciled. And let me repeat that. Things must be made right. Justice must be served. But things are not 100% right if relationships are not restored. Let's look at how God handled it. God is sending His Son to us twice, two times. The first time, God sent His Son to the cross. What was the purpose of the cross? It was to make things right. Make what right? Relationship with the Father, to reconcile us to the Father. So reconciliation is the first order. And then Jesus came, will come again. He's coming again to do what? To judge. The second time is to set all things right. Jesus will come two times. First time to reconcile, second time to, re to judge. First time for relationship, second time for justice. God's peace is both justice and relationship. One and another, not one or the other. Nothing is made right if relationship is not restored or reconciled. So for today's reflection, pray about it and think about it. Are you looking for vindication or reconciliation or both? Have a good day. <music>